All right. <clears throat> and what's this? Oh, this is the experience bonus. Car is loud, repaint. Dude, let's go ahead and knock that thing out right now. Car is loud, that's easy. <clears throat> intake, or exhaust manifolds actually, not intake. literally it. <clears throat> Exhaust manifold V8. Take an experience bonus off of just an exhaust manifold and a repaint. Factory paint, okay. Couldn't get in the dumb room. All right, factory, paint, you're done, get out. All right, back to this thing. That's gotta be underneath, okay. mom how are you I need two rotors <clears throat> yo what's up skid I need a fuel filter, an oil filter, and some spark plugs. <clears throat> Let's see. Fuel filter. Oil filter. Four of these. Your, uh, what's up, Eternal? Isn't your Kickstarter almost over, Skid? <clears throat> I 
showcase your bits. Hey, Skid, thanks for the hundred bits, man. Oh, is it already over? I thought it was. I thought it still had like an hour left. Okay, I need an alternator, a counterweight, a sprocket, and an air filter base. <clears throat> it ended earlier, okay. Air filter base, sprocket, where's the counterweight? There. Dude, that's awesome. Probably should have gotten the alternator as well. Let me get the air filter. I know I'm going to need that. Alternator. Okay. That's really good. Isn't that better than you did last time? Counterweight. Sprocket. We need the timing chain. Serpentine belt for a rot B. I'm probably going to need that. Let's go ahead and just buy one. <clears throat> the timing cover will go back on. that either. Alright, see, I need arm A, rot A, arm rot B. <clears throat> arm rot B, arm A, rot A. Uh, there's the ignition wires for the rot B. I'm going to need that. Distributor. I don't know if I need... Well, there's a rot B cap. I don't know if I need a rotor or not. So let's wait on that. <clears throat> Man, my, uh... I don't know, sorry about clearing my throat so much. I don't know what's going on. My throat is phlegmy. I know that's gonna turn, like, all of you guys on. Oh, I already had a working cap. What about clip B? I had one good one. I need another clip B. Air filter cover. I needed one of those. I thought I had repaired one of those parts, but I guess not. And then these, this has got three clip B's on it. No, these are clip A's. Oh, good. And they're all good condition, too. Oh, it was your mom? How's she doing? This lady... Your mom panics about the weirdest things. Yeah, I know, right? Where do you get it from? I don't know. And then the belt goes on. Oh, serp belt A, rot A. Okay. Serp belt A, rot A. I wondered why it was missing one of those. There's rot B. Idler roller A. Looks like I'm going to need two of those. I'm almost done with this Mazda skid. And by almost done, I mean like 40%. <laughs> Alright. The fan. Radiator A is good. The fan housing is bad, but the fan itself is good. 
So I need a rot beef fan and a housing A. Fan housing and a rot B fan. Let's put that on there. Fan housing. Alright, what else we got? Uh, that's on the lifter, the brake servo, and the battery. Awesome. Everything else should be underneath. Cool. No parts to work with. Okay. Steering rack is good. What about the oil pan? Hey, that's also good. Excellent. Sway bar? Negative. How about those knuckles? Those are both 100%. Awesome. Alright, so I need a new front suspension cross member. All the tie rods and the front sway bar. Front suspension cross member. Front sway bar. And then a whole new set of tie rods. Did I get a new flywheel? I did not. Right. Lower suspension arms, hey. Uh, so I'm gonna need two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Wait, two, four, six, eight, sorry. I don't know how to count. Need eight of these. On there. Those are both good. One good front wheel hub and two wheel hub bearings. Okay. One front wheel hub, two bearings. And two hub caps. So I'm going to need front exhaust section rot B. And then all new front shock absorbers. Front exhaust section rot B. Front two absorbers, two springs, two caps. Go assemble those real quick. Let's see if we got any bonuses. There's a money bonus car. We'll take that one. wrong with you? Oh, that's a story car. That's right. Front exhaust section. Let's 
go with these front shocks. Showcase your bits. Hey. Skid with the 200 bits. Thanks, man. Just wanted to get my next badge, so here's 200 bits to get me to it. I'm more than willing to assist you in obtaining your bit badge. Alright, where are the clutch parts? Do I need new ones? Uh, I do not need the clutch plate, but everything else needs to be new. So the ring, that's the plate, sorry, the pressure plate. I need the flywheel. And I don't know if I need the new transmission, but we'll find out here in just a second. Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay on it, but it's alright. It'll show up, trust me! Starter, is that okay? No item to work with. What kind of starter? V8. Uh, starter for the V8. Awesome! What kind of sway bars are these? A's. I need two of those. And then the front end is going to be done other than brakes and tires. It's over there somewhere. There it is. I found it! Dude, I got my loot box in today. Oh, it had some cool stuff in it. Middle muffler and rear muffler V8OHV. Exhaust. Rear muffler, V8 OHV. Where's my middle muff? There it is. Let's assemble all of the exhaust system. So everything's good up till there. Is the fuel tank good? No. Fuel tank. I don't know if I need a new pump, but we'll find out in just a second. I do not. Alright, rear drive axle. Is the drive shaft good? Yeah. Alright, what about my leaf springs? They're both good. So we'll put those on. Those are small rubber bushings, so I'm going to need four of those. Uh, rear shock absorber Bravos. Let's put these bushings in. And then the shocks. Knuckle housings are good too. Awesome. That wheel hub needs to go on before either of those two items do, though. It's kind of awkward. What about the drum? I need two new drums, and I think I needed one shoe. Brakes. Two drums. Pretty sure I needed a shoe. Cylinder? That's good. Yep, I did need a shoe. Awesome. Pop that drum on there. Did I not put the drum? No, I didn't. I bailed. Alright, so let's... Got brand new plates. How about my U-bolts? They're all good as well. Excellent. So how's y'all's day been going? Alright. 
two... Wait, do I not have my wheel hub cap on this side? I don't. Alright, two vented... Two pads, I assume. I may have also repaired some calipers here, so... I did not. Two calipers. Am I, am I gonna need cylinders? One. You told your chat room to clean it? What, to clean my area? Had to say goodbye to John Jones. Uh, I don't know who that is. I'm guessing that's one of your your high school worker dudes that helps you out around the place. Just need tires and rims now. All right. Well, welcome to hang out, Anza. These are some weird tires. They're small. 15570 R14s. Okay. What kind of rim is this? Rim Classic 1. Rim Classic go with the classic four 17s and then nope that's rims I need tires um, let's just put a standard tire on there 17s three of those what was the width on this thing? 155 they had? That didn't make sense. But the profile, he had 70s. Which is the biggest. Alright. I don't know where they're getting these non-standard size tires from. Some of these cars have tires on them that I can't even get. pop a couple of these on there. Alright, what color should this car be? This is like a standard late 80s, early 90s looking car. Oh no, we already painted this one. Never mind. Yeah. Wait, did we paint it? No, I just repaired it. This is the paint job it came with. I just fixed the parts so they look nice. I don't think I actually painted it. I don't think I would have had another blue car so for, uh, so recently. Alright, so that's done. So, let's 
take that sucker into the paint room. Take a look at some colors. See what we can whip up. There's an old voice in my head that's holding me back. Well, tell her that I miss our little talks. I'm confused. But anyway, hey Zill, what's going on, dude? Let's go with a good saturation. Uh, let's not go with, uh, yeah, metallic is standard, okay. Go with, a, like, an avocado or the harvest gold. Yeah. That actually looks kind of yeah, cool. Actually, that's what I was kind of thinking when I said brown. Because it feels a little more dated. Yeah, it's a dated vehicle. So, like, a harvest gold looking color looks good. Yeah, I like it. It's, like, right about there. That looks pretty good. That's uh, Is that, like, a harvest gold? I might need a little... Like that. Oh, it's a quote. I don't. I don't know music that well. I don't listen to 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 lyrics in my music really. So you listen to like rock and metal. Yeah, I listen to rock and metal, and they're all like <laughs> half the time you can't understand it, and the other half of the time it's all like Satan, yeah, and I'm all like, eh, no thanks. The music's good. Yeah, make it black with red flames. I can't get that cool with it, unfortunately. But Harvest Gold on this, this like, older, dated-looking car, that looks pretty good. I kind of like it. It's like a burnt mustard. I like that. Well looks like a well-done corn dog. I like that. Then we'll have to get a car and color it avocado. Yeah. Or what's, is that the other color? Harvest gold and, what was the green color called? Was it called avocado? Yeah. It I'm was? Sure. Mom, know. what were the old appliances called that came in the two gross colors? It was harvest gold and something else. And I want, I'm, sure I'm wanting to say avocado, but yeah, I'm like, are you saying that you can't understand ACDC? Well, okay. ACDC is rock. ACDC is not heavy metal. Also, to yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't find my music and go, oh my god, these lyrics totally resonate with my soul. I'm just like, holy shit, did you hear that guitar riff? That was awesome! That's all I really care about. Uh, yeah, I think Zill's in Discord. Are you in Discord, Zill? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I like that color too. That that works really well. That's kind of a harvest gold, wouldn't you say, Mom? That's that's pretty close. It's pretty, yeah, I've been going to brown Yeah, it gives it you're on Discord, okay, yeah. Yeah, I posted some of the musical stuff I like in uh And this almost looks like avocado, except it's a little too green. It needed. It would need a little more brown hue to it. That's weird how we went to that without thinking about it. A little dull for Harvest Gold, but it's okay. Yeah, it looked a little more yellow in the shop, but it's close. It's like bruised avocado. <laughs> Not bro orange. All right, so that's another one of my personal vehicles done. Okay, this is another vehicle. Wait, no, I don't want to do that. What's what's needed on you? All the filters. That's it. All the filters and spray paint it. Damn, dude, let's get it going. Get up in there. None of this can be fixed, so let's sell all of that. All right. What kind of fuel or what kind of oil filter do I need on this? V8 OHV and a two carb air filter. Okay. Filter. 
we need a V8 OHV, I need a fuel filter, and I need a two carb round air filter. Yep. All right, so let's let's pop these suckers out of there. That comes off. Where's the fuel filter? Wait, was that it? No, that's a that's a muffler. There it is. Found it. And is this oil filter? No, that's got to be below. Okay, yeah. Put a new fuel filter in. Pop in a new air filter. Chocolate brown was another 70s color. Okay. Number two. Drain that oil. Get that out of there. Hello? Okay. Pop that off. Stick a new one of those on there. Come back down. Just make it sun degraded plastic white. Yeah. That like off cue cream kind of color. The, I bought a router in 1986 that was white and you go and find it and it looks like orange from all just the age and dirt and crap. Alright, cool. You should be good to go, sir. Oh, spray paint with factory paint. I forgot about that. Move to the paint shop. Factory. Factory seems to be white for every car. Which is a little disappointing, but... You know, that's probably a good point. Factory probably is primer gray. You're probably right. Replace the body parts. Okay. Because this is the story vehicle. This is, uh... I bought this old race car to go crazy on the track. For safety reasons, the car must be in great shape. I think you know what to do. No bonus. Okay. Uh, this thing needed what body parts? It's a Reptilia R2. Front bumper. Front right fender. Right headlight. Right side mirror. Uh, left tail light and right tail light. I think you know what I. <laughs> I think you know what to do. Immediately cuts brake lines. I know, right? Front left door window. Front right door window. Front window and trunk window. Awesome. Okay. These are all just parts that are just missing in general. Okay. Simple enough. Let's replace all of that. Okay. So, front bumper, front right fender, right headlight, uh, right side mirror, both taillights. Front left door window and front right door window. Front window and trunk window. Assemble! Alright, 
That should be all the body. It is. Change the oil. Factory paint. Let's do the factory paint right now since I'm already here. Okay. Move that car out to lifter one. And he's just all sorts of busted up inside. Okay, so first things first, test it with the compression test. See how far deep into the engine I need to go. All the way down. Well, damn. All right. Now we can stop testing stuff and just start dismantling. That's got to come out. Just pull out these side pieces to get more room as well. Okay. Wow, all those ignition cores are just trash, man. Zoom out. Okay, we need to take that off of there and that off of there. And I can take those belts off, all the rest of the rollers. Have you used the engine crane at all? I used it once. They said they patched it since I used it because it was really awkward for me to use it. So maybe I'll use it again, actually. But yeah, it was very awkward the first time. It didn't respond how you think it would respond. So I just kind of avoided using it again. Plus, I don't really see the, uh, the necessity of using it, just because it doesn't, for me, it doesn't actually make it any easier. I guess for some people, I could see that they'd be like, oh my god, it's so much easier like this, but I don't know. It didn't really have a big effect on me. Those tires are nasty, too. Let's let's pull those off real quick. And that fuel pump. Saw you sneaking around back there. He didn't think I would see him. Take that starter off of there. Take off the gearbox.
Looks like the plate itself is in good condition. Yep. Alright. Wheel hub cap that needs to come out. Wheel hub cap over there needs to come out. There's also nasty stuff back here. Solid, that's the solid drive axle. Oh, I gotta take the brake this off. Duh! Everything else over there looks okay. okay looking at the bearings real quick bushings sorry I'm gonna get that wrong like a million more times that's okay all right those look all right I think that's all the busted stuff except the crankshaft and a couple of pistons. Okay, so let's go ahead and take out the bad pistons. We'll leave the good ones in. Obviously. That way I don't have to try to figure out later which pistons need to be replaced. Oh, wait, no. I'm going to have to take all the pistons out because I have to get the crankshaft out. Never mind. I could. See, that's... Wow, that's smart. Why are you so smart? Why did I also draw seven pistons and not eight? Because you're not as smart. That is absolutely true. These are good. And then these are bad. So we have one, two, four, and the last one. One, two, four, and the last one. Okay, good. That was so smart. Do what? Ah. Yeah. It could. I'm almost level 39. Maybe I'll get 40 tonight. That would be awesome. What do I get at 40? Uh, cheaper junkyards and barns and a discount at shops. Okay. Awesome. 
All right, so I'm going to need the crankshaft and four pistons. V8. Wait, which crankshaft is it? I don't even know. I guess I have to check my inventory. <clears throat> I also need four rings. Okay, and a crankshaft V8. That's what I thought. Better safe than sorry, though. Okay. So we'll get back in here. Reinstall the crankshaft. Now let's put those pistons in. Uh, I think. Crud. Um, I think, I think it goes like this. So this one needs to be a hundred percent. This one needs to be. No, if that's the case, it's... Ugh. Ugh! The one in the very front, which I'm pretty sure is this one. One, two, three, and then this would be four. I think that's how it goes. Let's not put that on yet. Let's look at this and go to pistons. I got two right. <laughs> Looks like I got all four of them wrong. gonna do that because screw it yeah Yeah, I know, right? Sorry. Thank you. Making room. Moving stuff around. I'm going to put that right there. All right, so. And then cap. My crankshaft cap. I just need one because I know which one of those was bad. The idea worked. The problem is, is from underneath and from above, it's hard to tell because I, I can see the broken ones from underneath real easy, but from on top I couldn't. And I made the diagram as though I was looking at it from underneath, not from on top. And so next time... Next time I'll have to do it from above. But that's a really good way of keeping an eye on it. Nothing.
Okay. Let's reassemble these. Pretty sure the brake servo is working now. Yep. What about this? Maybe his pump is not. Oh, I thought I fixed radiator A. Whoops! I need three new crankshaft V8s. Sorry, camshaft V8s. And I need three cam gears. Remember, this one was the 89% as well. I need, uh, I guess I need two fuel rails, four spark plugs. Okay, got it. Two of these. Timing belt V8s, I need two of those. Four, uh, eight spark plugs. Yeah, what's up, Primus? Ignition. Wow, I cannot spell. Uh, eight coils. Alright, so now we can throw most of this back together. How are you doing, good sir? Or ma'am? I don't know. You could be a lady. Fuel rails on there. being subscribed for a few years you're finally able to catch a live stream dang man well in all fairness I've only been live streaming regularly for like two months three months maybe so I mean there's there's at least that <laughs> it's not all like time zones fault although I'm sure the time zone hasn't really helped at all either But hey, man, welcome. We also have a, uh, if you're interested, uh, if you're interested, we also have a community Discord server. You can do an exclamation point Discord in the chat. And uh, you don't have to be subscribed or anything to get in there either. So feel free to stop by and hang out in there too. We got a pretty active community in there. Is fun Discord, yes. Is fun Discord. I agree. Hey, good. The belts are good. Or at least that one was. Let's put that belt back on. Yeah, it's good too. Alright, so I need a radiator A. Radiator A. Let me go get the battery. Awesome. That's all new and good. 
Uh, I need a V8 oil filter, an ABS pump. Brakes. ABS pump. Need to see if you have enough space for Discord. It's not that big, but I understand how it is. Uh, it'll be at the top of the list. I'm gonna need a fuel... No, that's from the other car. Whoops! No, that's from this car. Okay. Now, what kind of air filter does this thing use? I don't see an air filter on it at all. No, these are from the these are from the car that just needed filters. Okay, ABS module is good. Goodness. Oh, that's true. They do have a web a web version. You're also not obligated to join if you don't want to either. So don't feel pressured or anything. Throttle. For a V8. Alright, let's hop this guy up as well. Is the flywheel? No. The plate was good, but nothing else. Okay. Flywheel, need one of those. We need that and that. Did I get a new oil filter? I think I did. I did! The plate was good enough. Let's put in the pressure plate. Oh, you mean enough space on your phone. Gotcha. I can definitely see the problem there. <laughs> All right. Pop in the drive shaft. All right, so these things need the wheel hub caps, right? Both of them. Yeah, wheel hub caps, and then in the rear, I needed the solid rear drive axles. One of those is good. Wheel hub cap, two of those. Solid rear drive axle, I need one. I'm also going to need some brake pads. Oh, and a fuel pump. I forgot about that guy. Did I repair that? I did not. Fuel pump. We'll pop that in there. All the brake pads look like they're rough. Alright, put the hub caps in. Nope, I don't want that tire in my face, but thank you. Let's get all new brake pads. Yeah, those are all just bad. Let's get four brake pads. But yeah, we'll be there. If you, uh... If you find out that you do have space eventually, just... You can pop into chat at any time and do an exclamation point Discord, even if I'm offline. And uh, it'll appear for you. And you can just join that way. Wait. That tire needed to be replaced. Well, that's just because you're skid, man. Hmm. 
man. What's what's up, Maple? You look like you're having a hard time. Oh, and then Zill beat you to it. Oh no, the frustration is real. Oh man, you can hit him. I won't tell anybody. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I need four new tires. So let's go check out tires. What are we looking at here? We're looking at sport tires that go on a 17-inch rim. 285-45s. Sport tire, 17, 45, 285. By those. All right, now let's rip these apart, shall we? I can time him out for a few seconds if that'll make you feel better. <laughs> Dang. Skid's not messing around. Sorry. <clears throat> Whoops, that's not what I want. Took me a second to read your name. Welcome, Ronald Dragon. How are you doing, good sir? Sorry, it's hard for me to read. I'm bad at reading in general, so I mean, we're just in all sorts of trouble with that. How are you doing, good sir? Oh! I get it now, thanks, Skid. I had to wait until... <laughs> I had to wait until Skid said, get it? Ronald Reagan? How did I not get that? Did you? I am not, I am not the brightest man. Although that surprises absolutely no one in the chat. Good lord. That was embarrassing. At least no one was around to hear it. <laughs> yeah, at least nobody heard it. Right? Yeah, at least it's not in a VOD later. At least I'm not going to export it to YouTube for future reference. What does putting them on the spinner thing do? It balances the wheel. It makes it so that the outer side of the tire and the inner side of the tire weigh the same amount so that when you're driving and they're spinning on the axis, your tire doesn't do this number. Because that's bad. Because even, even like gr being off by grams will make your tire wobble like that. Yeah, see, me and Zill got the same idea. Oh, and thanks, and Skid clipped it. Thanks, Skid. I know I could count on you.
I shouldn't have four additional brake pads. That's a duplication error. So I'm going to sell them all off because I don't want to have... I don't want to have extra stuff when I really shouldn't have. The inventory duplication is still a problem, but it seems like that's basically the only bug left that I've been able to see. I mean, the dino isn't even active yet, so I mean, I guess that's still considered a bug, but... 55687 dollars. Yeah, I know, right? $55,000. And... God, I, I only spent 17000 fixing it, so that's a $28,000 profit on my part. Can you imagine? <laughs> my markup is insane. Oh, front license plate is missing. It sure is. Rear license plate is there, however. Yeah, you could get a good car for that. I know, right? Not this old, out-of-date thing. But, I mean, this guy doesn't really care because he's doing... He's going to do street racing. Uh, just... Go, yeah, exactly. You could buy a Tesla for 55000 I think. I think the new one he just came out with is, like, fifty-five. All right, so that's done. What else we got? Any more bonus vehicles? Wait, was that the last story vehicle? I don't have a story vehicle. Model 3 is only 35000 Yeah, before it's like before any of the stuff, the, the base. Damn, that's, that's not much. Not for a Tesla, 35 grand? That is affordable? Alright, so let's look at, uh, let's get the Royal Bianco Eco Turbo. Because for some, that's what you want to do on a car. That's what you want to get on a Geo Metro, is a turbocharger. That's basically what this is. It's a little Geo Metro kind of... Actually, you know what this looks like? This looks like Steve. Doesn't it look like Steve? Oh, you have no idea what a Tesla is? It's an electric car. An awesome electric car. Yeah, do you not know who Elon Musk is? It's, uh, it's Kalu. Oh. Then never mind. oh. I it, yeah, it looks like a little blue Steve, doesn't it, Mom? I love, I love Kalu, but he's adorable. <laughs> Kalu's so cute. He doesn't know. Aww. It's not a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing. It's just like... He does, uh... Elon Musk is the owner of Tesla uh, Tesla Motors, and he also does SpaceX. If you're familiar with SpaceX, he started uh, PayPal. Sold PayPal to eBay for like a bajillion de dollars. Because that was really smart. <laughs> I think at this point, what I should probably do is just start buying some of my own cars. Do these jobs for like the money. And then buy my own cars to fix them up. You do know what SpaceX is. Okay. Same guy who runs SpaceX. He's, he did Tesla before SpaceX. PayPal sold to eBay for $1.5 billion. Oh, PayPal sold to eBay. $1.5 billion with a B dollars. Yeah. He, he made a decent amount of change off of that. Yeah. Oh, wait. I do not know what SpaceX is. Damn it! Oh, no! Okay, just how... <laughs> can people Elon Musk? Yeah, just Google... Yeah, Google Elon Musk and go to his wiki. E-L-O-N-M-U-S-K. 
That dude has some of the coolest companies. He also started the Boring Company. He was talking on Twitter a, a, a few months ago about uh, how how inefficient companies are at digging tunnels. And he was like, I know this kind of sounds a little boring to most people. And then he went, wait, that's perfect. The Boring Company. Uh, he's worth $21 billion. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm I'm a gamer who rarely leaves the house. Cars are not my forte. Well, that's fine. Cars are not my forte either. I'm just really excited about Elon Musk and all the cool shit. He, he's also the guy that wants to go to Mars. If you've heard about the really rich guy that wants to go to Mars, that's him. Yeah, Elon Musk is like super nerdy. What else is wrong with this car? Oh, that's primarily it. Oh. Well, don't I feel silly. I'm, I'm like poking around trying to figure out what's wrong with it. Exhaust pipe, catalytic converter, front exhaust section, Bravo I3. Not sure we have the technology for a manned mission to Mars. We do. It's just really, really, really expensive. Front exhaust section I-3 is what I'm looking for. Oh, which one is it? Don't we only send drones there? Yeah, so far. Bravo. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. I mean, it's also like... Yeah, I mean, technically we have the technology to send somebody to Mars, but right now, the only technology we have to send somebody to Mars would be a one-way trip. Yeah, exactly. Just what Skid said. I think, I think Zill on the Hyperloop, and I, I tend to kind of agree and kind of disagree with you there. Um, his idea behind Hyperloop, the, the, like the full idea won't work, like his max idea. The, the, the base concept of Hyperloop of doing like an underground mag train or even a mag train in a vacuum tube to get places faster, that will work. And he's already tested it. Now, he said he could do certain speeds, and that may not be possible. Some of the speeds he's advertised. But I know that the, the basic concept does go faster than pretty much anything else out there. Just not as fast as he initially said. Put something in a vacuum and uh, put it in a frictionless environment. And in theory, you could go really, really fast. It's not viable or practical. Well, it is viable because he's doing it. He's got chunks that do work. Practical? No, it's not really practical because it's super expensive. But then again, everything is super expensive the first time it's done. Yeah, the Alpha design total cost of LA to San Francisco would be about six billion dollars. Yeah, LA to San Francisco is six billion, but the the speed at which you could get from LA to San Francisco is like I think it's something like a quarter of the length of time that you could do it on in in a car if the freeways were empty. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's like we were talking about the other day about the uh, uh, what's it called the the genetically engineered hamburger, where they could grow a hamburger in a lab out of just like like cells. You didn't need a cow. You could create a hamburger, 
And when they first started doing it, like, 10 years ago, uh, I think it was something like $80,000 for a single burger. And now they can do it for, like, uh, like eight bucks. Front right fender, rear bumper. So, I mean, the initial time you do something for the first time, it's obviously going to be really expensive. Left tail light. But if you never do it, it's always going to be really expensive, and then it's never going to get done. Somebody needs to, like, bite the bullet, eat the cost up front. And that's something that Elon Musk is really big about. He's Because his Tesla cars, none of the components are copyrighted. They're all open open source. So, I mean, if any other car company wants to just start making their own cars off of Tesla's beginning model, they can do it. He just wants to make the world a better place. Currently, like VR, VR is prohibitively ex uh, expensive. It is, but you got a lot of people that would be willing to do it. Front left door, front right door. A lot of people have too much money, and they'll invest in something like that because they're like, "Oh my God, that would be awesome." Front right fender, rear bumper. Left tail light. Trunk window, got that. Front right door window. Rear right door window. Front, wait, right side mirror. Okay, I got that. Got all of that. It's, it's, well, see, I think you guys are going the wrong direction with this. It's less. It's less about, uh, is it economically viable, and um, is it a smart idea, you know, just f for worldwide implementation, and it's more about, can we do it? That's what Elon Musk is more about. Yeah. It's, it's not like he's building a Hyperloop with the intention of it making a profit in three years. All right, let's see. Hood. Wait, does this not have a hood? Oh, there's the hood. It looks like a window, almost. They need to tilt that a little differently or make the car parts a different color than white so that it doesn't almost look like a window. Okay, we need a hood, a front left door, and a front right door. We need a trunk, front right fender, a rear bumper, uh, a left tail light, trunk window. Where is, oh, trunk window. That's just hard to see in general. Hey, thanks for the host, MWR. Front right door window. Uh, right side mirror. Rear right door window. Oh, and a new follow. Hey, man. Thanks for following. Assemble. It's weird how you're not supposed to put the, the window, the door window on before the door side mirror is on. Or at least it doesn't highlight properly until it's on. Hood on there. That headlight's already there. Is 
Is that everything? Front right fender and rear left door. Oh, here's front right fender. Left rear door. Oh. How did I not see that? Let's buy one of those. Rear left door. Okay. You just noticed the Mindy emoji? Yeah, dude. Mindy exists in real life, bro. Yeah. Mindy is a real life thing. All right, I need to paint this factory, okay? So we're gonna move her into the paint shop. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, that still stands with the whole, it's, it's not really here for viability. All right, yeah, see, the factory color on this one is, like, chocolate brown. Interesting. Oh, yeah, it does. Rear license plate is missing. Oh, that's New Mexico. Did I take a license plate off the car? Oh, I did. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, you have to subscribe to get the Mindy emote. I have three emotes. I have Mindy, I have Jamp, and then I have uh, Pouty Me. Pouty Matt. And those are based off of the three levels of, subs of subscription because I'm an affiliate. Once I get full partnership on Twitch, I'll, uh, I'll, s I'll rearrange my emotes so that uh, more are at the base level. And then, of course, I'll get more as well. Let's see. Now, you know, now that we're down to sell all that. Now that we're down to just, um, just work cars, no more story mode cars. Um, I think I'll just start filling up the shop. With interesting jobs. I like engine and timing part jobs. Those are fun. Let's take that one. Let's take the Dodge Challenger. Oh, man. That's got to be rough, dude. Good luck on your job hunt. All right, what else we got? Yeah, I, I tend to agree with you, Eternal. However, I do see I do see some of the things that he wants to do as like actually viable in the future uh, once prices come down. And starting from this point is uh, is really good because a, a lot of people it's hard to get investment in something until it's proven, and so you need somebody to prove it first. So, I mean, saying saying I'm not going to do something unless it's economically viable, I mean, that would stagnate a lot of technological innovation just on its own. But I see what you're getting at. Okay. Let's get into this guy. General engine control and repair. Strange noise from the engine bay. Engine oil and filter. Car does not start. All right, let's hit this thing up with some tests. I yeah, 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 exactly, Eternal. That's you're you're making my point for me. Actually, is does anybody remember the first CD-based console? No, but you remember the first successful one? Yes. 
but the first successful one wouldn't exist if the first one hadn't had tried the technology. Nobody would have done it. Uh, eventually, somebody would have tried it and been like, oh, that doesn't work the way we thought it would. All right. That does not have an OBD port. I don't even know why I tried that. If the first successful CD-based console company had come across and said, you know what, I want to make a CD console and try to, they would have made the one that failed. Because they based a lot of their technology off of another company's failures. Wow, this is an interesting engine. When you were growing up, you still used tapes and floppy disks? I grew up in floppy disks. I did not really grow up in tapes. Not not on real usage. I mean, I've used tapes before, but not for like everyday use. I used them like backup tapes that were like a single tape that was like 400 gigs. Because at the time, that was the, the best way to back up large storage quantities. one more screw. I didn't see it. I was also reading chat. Whoops! That's, oh, cool. This is the engine that has the rockers that are on one bar. <gasps> what? Oh, that's so much better. Oh, wait. Does this have the... Oh, this has the really expensive valve push rods. These are like the $200 valve push rods. I gotta get me one of these cars. Yeah. In game, not in real life. No! Not in real life. Get me a Hot Wheels. <laughs> nice. I actually didn't have a lot of those. I had like, I had like my Ninja Turtle action figures. Those were awesome. Oh, wasn't it a roller skate? Yeah. Yeah. Barbie cars were expensive, but I own roller skates. So. Yeah. <laughs> now, I had this... I don't remember if I got it for Christmas or a birthday or what, but I had this Ninja Turtle play set, and what it was is it was... it. As a kid, it blew my freaking mind because it was like... It was like this... Um, you remember those backpacks that they sold that were boxes? And you would, like, unzip the side as opposed to the top? Yeah. It was kind of like that shape, but it was made out of... Car it was like laminated cardboard almost, but it was like a loose laminate. It wasn't really stuck on there. And the the playset was... it. I, I got a couple of Ninja Turtle action figures, but this box opened up, and it had, like, a sewer scene in the, in, on the inside of the box... And the, it came with these plastic stickers, but they weren't stickers. They stuck with, like, static cling. So the plastic thing could stick onto the plastic of this box. And so you could set up all these stickers on the back of the box. And then you could have your action figures in front of it and do stuff. It was awesome. I played with that thing for a long time. My mom made a good investment with that one. That was not a toy that I sat down and never touched again. Oh, have I ever used the crane feature? Yes, I have. Once. It was very awkward. And I didn't feel like it sped me up at all because it took me like 15 or 20 minutes to get it on the crane properly. And then like another 10 or 15 minutes to get it off the crane. And... Uh, at that point, it didn't save me any time. So I was like, you know what? It's just not even worth screwing around with. 
they have had a patch since then. Uh, for that crane, but I haven't used it. Because I was disillusioned by it, you know? Uh, parts need to be above 57%. Let's look at these valve rods. One, two, six, seven valve rods. And those are the V8OHVFs. Yeah, $100 a piece. Look at that. That was expensive. Yeah, dude, that was a good... That gift that my mom got me, that was, like, really good. Money well spent at the time. Oh. <laughs> I wanted all the boy toys, but my mom didn't get them for me. No, she got you all the girlies. Oh, wait, I got... You need an AMC Pacer, the pregnant roller skate? Yeah. Here's Mindy for those interested. This is the real-life Mindy. She's got her little manatee fluke. She's real! And she comes and hangs out periodically. When she graces me with her presence... She's amazing. All right. Well, my mom did get me the Leonardo bowl. Oh, yeah. She got you the Leonardo, um, like, cereal bowl yeah. with the little straw on the side that went to the bottom of the bowl. Yeah. Nice. And I had a... See, that was cool. My cereal outside. She... She let you eat your cereal outside. I was stoked every time. I was like, can I go eat this outside? She's like, yes. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Whatever, kid. Just get away. Not make a mess in the house? Sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did this car have timing problems? Strange noise from the engine bay. Probably. Let's take the timing cover off and see what's underneath. Could also be transmission issues. No, this timing stuff doesn't look that bad. The gear looks alright. What about the chain? Oh, the chain's jacked. Five? Yeah. Damn. Timing chain, the F model. All right, pop that back on there. We'll throw the timing cover back on. Really, radiator? You want to be all up in my face? All right, crankshaft pulley can go back on. That's fine. Oh, man. That radiator was all up in my grill. That's so bad. Wait, that's a good point. Thank you, MWR. Does the engine block need to be replaced? No, it looks in pretty good condition. Yeah, it's yellow. That's fine. What's that? Oh, that's the oil filter. No, I don't have to drain the oil. It's got to be up on the crane. Oh, instantly broke that. 72. That's higher than it needs to be. 57. Hey, got it to 100. All right. So, I need an oil filter. I think it's, it's, it's the VHOHV, isn't it? No, it's the yellow one, just the V8. Okay. And that engine head looks bad. Because this one doesn't look so bad, but this one looks significantly worse. Alright, so remember two and four.
68. Oh, that's good enough. Oh, wait, no. I needed to take the pistons out, didn't I? Oh, no. Hold on. All right. Two and four. All right, and then pistons. These are valves. And then pistons. We've got uh, two, three, and four. All right. That's the left side. Let's go look at the right. No. Okay, cool. Let me just pick that up. <laughs> okay, those were the... Okay, those are good. These are bad. All right, and this one is one, two, three, four, five. So we've got right, if I can... Right, number five. It's valve. That's bad. All the rest are good. Take the head off. Off with his head. Okay. And then just uh, number one, piston. Bad. Okay. Uh, I think the command you're looking for is exclamation point command. Or commands uh, with an S. I forget. It's either command or commands, I think is what you're looking for. He put an exclamation point help. So I think that's what he's looking for. If not, we'll find out. Hey, more otters. It's commands with an S. Okay, thank you. Welcome all you new folks. Thanks for hanging out. If you're interested, we have a community Discord server. Exclamation point Discord in the chat. All right, so we're going to pull these out. 65. What's the minimum? 57. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm aware of the shortcut. I use it most of the time. <laughs> Definitely not all the time, though. All right, so there's all of that. I can go ahead and take off these exhaust sections. That looked like the only one that needed to come out. That middle muffler, though. Uh... Everything else looks okay. Let's... While I'm down here, let's check out the uh, transmission. Frequently, part of the gearbox in here will be uh, stuff that's rattling around. Okay. That all looks fine. Yeah, when I remember? Yeah, basically. That's when I do it. Okay.
Okay. I think I just need four of those. Yep, all those rings are good enough. Pop the engine heads back on. Is that water pump good or does that need to be no it's got to be replaced i think all of this part was good though although the wiring harness might have been bad okay so i need an exhaust manifold for a v8 ohv delta and a water pump for a v8 ohv charlie v8 ohv Water pump, Charlie, exhaust manifold. Oh, duh. It's the orange one. Oh, and a middle muffler. You're right. Did I need a middle muffler? What was the quality on that middle muffler? Oh, I didn't take it off. Okay, never mind. Let's put the water pump back on. Water pump pulley needs to be replaced. Let's put these arms back in. Oh, what is that? Arm B, V8 OHB Charlie. I also need the water pump pulley. Hey, more otters. Welcome everybody. V8 OHV Echo. Oh, I needed the water pump pulley, that's right. Good enough for me. Power steering pump was good. And that had a belt around it. Uh, V8 OHV Charlie, belt A. Serpentine belt A, V8 OHV Charlie. Pop the new intake manifold on there. What about the fan? Was the fan okay? It was. Look at that. Alright, so let me pull up this list real quick. On the right hand side, valve number five was bad. One, two, three, four, five. So that needs 100%. And the rest of these do not. I also need eight uh, spark plugs. Whoops. Pull that out. Because these are a hundred bucks a pop. I'm not just going to replace all his rods. Giggity.
All right, now on the left-hand side, valves two and four were good. Two and four. And then the rest of these need to be brand new. That should be all my valve push rods. Spark plugs, front exhaust, valve push rod, ignition wires, engine head cover, air filter, rocker arms, perfect. I think this side was good and the other side wasn't. Rocker arms. Put the new rocker arms over there. That's bad. Yeah, you're right. I should. Rocker arms there. That's good. All right. So I need a engine head cover alpha V8 OHV delta. that on there down here you're right I do need to buy eight of those all right let's pop those guys in there there were some good ones but spark plugs are cheap enough it's not worth it to me to to hunt down the good ones they're like 12 bucks a pop, I think. Six? Oh, even better. All right, this is wiring harness Vito HV Delta. Grab one of those, pop that on there. Okay, so let's look at these carburetors. That one's good. This one's good. And that one, hey, it was also good. All right, air filter base, good enough. Air filter, I did not buy a new one. V to HB Echo. All right. Um, front exhaust section V to HB Delta. Can that go on here, or does that need to be under? Hello? Hello? On lifter. Gotcha. Get that stuff's done. Pop that guy on there. I know it's over here somewhere. There it is. Rod caps can go on. Matt's bedtime is in 57 minutes. Uh-oh. See you later, Zill. Have a good one, man.
I just have to put an engine in, uh, engine in here? I should put oil in the engine, actually. How we doing? That's fixed, that's fixed, that's fixed. All of that's fixed. Get out of here. All right. I don't know why I did that. Oh, it's not a hundred percent. Huh. Just easier just to not worry about it, sell everything off. <laughs> Forget it. Alright. Timing parts, general engine problems, strange noise from the engine bay, brake system is all kinds of jacked. What do we got over here? Gear slipping, gearbox, gearbox. Starter's gotta come off from I am in the engine bay. Alright, the rest is gear problems. Let's get in there and fix that. Alright, so we're gonna have to take off the tire. Pop that off. That guy comes out of there. Drive shaft and the gearbox. All the clutch parts, the flywheel, and the actual gearbox itself, right? Yeah, gearbox I4. Can we fix that? I don't think I'm going to hit 40 tonight. I thought I might, but I'm probably not. Gearbox I4. Flywheel. Clutch parts. Alright, let's go fix that car up and get him out of here. Really? Drive shaft back in, these go in, pop the tire on. Okay, now, now we just need the starter. More otters! Seven and a half thousand dollars. Damn. Any bonuses? Nope. All right, so let's get down to business on this car, shall we? Compression. How far into the engine block do I need to go? The crankshaft. Damn. All the way, basically. Alright, ABS modules coming out of there. And the pump. Alright, what's holding that up? Oh, the throttle. That would make sense, right? So 
like the air filter is also damaged pretty heavily. I don't know, is that black or yellow? 22%. It was black. Okay. The battery is 69%. Should be good enough. Yo, what's up, Dragon Slumber? That fuel rail needs to get replaced. But we're going to have to get way down in there anyway. I actually really enjoy tearing engines apart completely. So sending these cars away is kind of a waste for me. They give you a lot of experience as well. So it's worth it for me in the long run. I'm doing alright, man. All right, I've gotten enough. I've gotten enough requests. I guess I'm gonna have to use the engine train. Train? Engine crane. And I am terrible. You can use it at the very beginning, to my knowledge. I think you have to take out. I think you have to disconnect the. Uh, uh, the transmission, but other than that, I think you can lift the engine right out. Next, yeah, I'm gonna, whatever the next car is that comes in with engine problems, I'm gonna do that. My talking ability has never been top notch. I've been doing YouTube for like eight or nine years now, and you would think by now I would be able to talk uh, like a. a legitimate stream of consciousness, but nope, you would be wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there have been times I'll be recording a YouTube video and I'll just be like, I was said, I was said, fuck it, just cut, cut all that out. I'm, I'm not even, it's not important enough to fight with it and then I'll just edit it I'll edit myself out sounding like an idiot but I sound like an idiot a lot I could just say I sound like an idiot I think that would cover it what's up horde sack horde sack yeah that's correct okay Your, your speech patterns haven't gotten any better over the years either? Yeah. I think the problem is, is my mind wants to start, like, saying more into the future before I've finished what's coming out of my mouth. And that'll get you every time. Your, your, your mind's going faster than your mouth and you're just stumbling over your own words. Alright, let's... Oh, the oil pan's got to come out, so i got to drain the oil. Better than your mind going slower? That's kind of true, because then you're just like... Um... I was thinking... And you're just like, oh my god, dude, hurry up. Although I have a guy that I work with who speaks... He speaks twice as fast as what my mind can register. And, and he answers phones for a living. So, there have been times when he'll get somebody on the other side of the phone and he'll say what he's trying to say. And you can tell the other person on the other side doesn't know what he's saying because he's like, you know, double click on this, double click on this, double click on, double click on this. And you're like, dude, you just got to slow down, man. Huh? No, no. Yeah.
That's true. At least the south, uh, southern Texans, like you said, southern Texans have a tendency of talking at a slower pace. Yeah, I think that's what it is, primarily. Is uh, we have a slower pace to our conversations. I find myself trying to talk faster when I'm doing YouTube videos or uh, streaming on Twitch as well, I've noticed. Yeah. And that's just, that's just us. We just, in our normal, like when I'm normally sitting here and talking to Cappy, this is kind of the normal way to do it, to how I would talk to her at this speed, where when I'm streaming on Twitch, I'm trying to talk really fast to make sure nobody's getting bored. And I find that maybe that's part of what's making me screw up my words more often. Okay, what percentage? You want this game so bad? You have the 2015 version, but you can't get the 2018 version for a while yet? Man, now that they've patched the life out of this thing, it is so much better. There's still a couple of minor problems with the game, but what they have... Uh, where they're at now versus where they were at is like night and day. They had so many issues at the beginning, but I would say this is easily better than the 2015 version. Even with the couple of bugs that are in here that weren't in the 2015 ones. Um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. There's so much more unique vehicles already. And we don't even have all the DLC that they had in 2015. Yeah, otters are coming in hot and heavy now. Lots of new folks coming and hanging out. Loving it. Uh, park condition 62%. Okay. So let's repair these. How much can I get above 62? 77, good enough. 69, <laughs> Oh, broke that one. Hundred, nice. And the ABS pump. Zero. Wow. Alright. So I'm going to need... Let's sort by condition. Actually, no. Let's sort by name. I actually prefer name. Alright, so I need a water pump and a timing chain. Two spark plugs. Those are both I-4Bs. I-4B. Water pump. Timing chain. I need both of those belts. Uh, what was the other thing? I was thinking about sleep. <laughs> you were thinking about sleep? Yeah. Oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I was just like, oh, I can't wait to go to bed. Sleep. Two spark plugs. <laughs> oh my god. Eight oh five. Following is free, Primus. Subscribing is what costs money. The one thing you do have to be aware of, uh, Andrew is Andrew is a beast. Nice. Uh, the one thing you do have to be aware of, Andrew, is that the inventory system um, is still a little quirky. They haven't quite fixed that yet. Uh, so periodically you'll accidentally sell like I'll go to sell this 24% timing chain and the inventory will sell this one instead uh, Or I'll click on this and hit sell and an item up here will disappear, but both of my chains will stay uh, Sometimes you'll uh, You'll buy an item and instead of your your you'll spend like 50 bucks to buy a $50 thing and you'll get like three of them in your inventory so they're still working that out. Two ignition coils, a flywheel, and a clutch ring. Two ignition coils, flywheel, clutch ring. I know that's a release bearing, but it looks like a ring, so I call it a ring. 
So I've kind of gotten to the point where when I have these two items here, in 2015, for example, I would immediately sell this one just to clear my inventory out. And now I don't because sometimes it'll goof up and start selling random shit. And then I lose it and have to wait until I'm putting the engine back together to find what I'm missing. That's frustrating. Uh, I need an idler roller A. And yeah, Primus, don't worry about subscribing, you know, don't get me wrong. I love, I would love to have subscribers so that I can make some money doing this and actually like buy video games with some of the money I make off of Twitch, but I totally understand if you can't subscribe. I'm not gonna, that's why, that's why my, my Discord server is not a subscriber Discord server. Uh, okay, I, I need a bunch of I4B stuff. Let's sort by I4B, if I can spell properly. Okay, I need both of those. I need one of that. I need... I needed the air filter cover and an air filter. I need a fuel rail, I remember that. I need the crankshaft. What else do I need? I need two caps and a belt tensioner, and an ABS pump. All right. Uh, where'd the caps go? Two caps, ABS pump, and a belt tensioner. Okay, so that should be all the stuff I need. So let's get in here and start putting it back together, shall we? Pop that on. Install the flywheel and all the clutch parts. That's why you can also add, you can also watch ads. If you want to if you want to like help support the uh, the stream, you can also watch ads with the little bit thing down by the chat box and donate the bits that you get from watching ads so that you don't have to spend your own money on that. I make a little money there too, so it's all good. Yeah. I'm never going to be like, oh, the only thing you get from being a sub is, is emotes. That's the only thing I'm ever going to, well, it's because I don't have an option. <laughs> That's the only way you can emote. But. Nothing else is really going to be limited. I'm never going to do sub-only chat. At least not in the foreseeable future. Bit thing? Yeah. There are uh, bits, which are just... Yeah, I'm explaining it. I'm, I'm getting ready to explain it. Um, bits are a... A currency solely for Twitch. There's a little icon next to the chat box that looks like kind of like a little diamond, and you can watch uh, you can watch an ad, and depending on what ad you watch, uh, it'll give you bits, for lack of a better term. That's just what they're called, and then you can donate the bits to uh, to any streamer. It doesn't even have to be the streamer you were watching when you uh, when you watched the advertisement. And one bit is basically one... Showcase your bits! Yeah, exactly. Like that. Thanks, MWR, for your one bit, bro. Every bit it roughly equates to one, one US cent. So 100 bits is one dollar. And... Um, that's, that's a way that you can help support a streamer. You can also pay for bits if you wanted to do that, but... Uh, you can just watch free ads and get bit, get bits that way too. But yeah, there's there's never going to be a requirement that people donate or or give me bits or anything like that. But if you do want to support me, those are the easiest ways. in there. Let's 
put that cover back on, and that screws in this time. And yeah, thanks for reminding me that I still have the brakes to work on. I thought I was almost done. <laughs> and then you were like, oh, the brakes. I was like, oh, crap. He's right. Bits for ads only works in the U.S. right now? Oh, I did not know that. I mean, yeah, just coming and hanging out is, is good enough for me, honestly. Because if you can't support, you know, but you come and hang out, my name will go up on the list of people streaming whatever game I'm streaming at the time. And that'll get more people to come and stop by, and maybe they can support me. It is. This is a hobby. I don't do this for a living. I like money, but... <laughs> don't get me wrong. I like money, but... I'm not going to stop this if I don't make a lot of money off of it. That stuff back on there. And the cam gear. There should be a belt right here. Is this good enough? Yeah, I bought a new one. Okay. Belt tensioner, timing cover, we're almost done with the engine, crankshaft fully goes back in, that belt is a new one, and another roller, uh, I think that's it, oh the starter, aha, I always forget the starter on this car. Okay. How? Oh no, that's it. That's all of it. Okay, never mind. Do we need to change the oil on this car? General engine problem, strange noise from the engine bay. Nope, just the brake system. Alright, so I can close the hood. And let's just sell... Oh wait, don't sell everything. Oh yeah, I can sell everything because it doesn't sell tires. There we go. Cool. <laughs> I was like, wait, no! Oh wait. Never mind. Alright, let's pop these puppies, puppies off of there. I was gonna say puppers. Let's take these puppers off. That, that, that doesn't sound quite as awesome. I think this guy just needs all new brakes. How about it? How about that? I know, right? We're divorcing now. No! I like you and stuff. You know, because the, the love. Lame. Alright, so can we fix any of these uh, calipers? Good enough. One caliper fixed. Okay, so I'm going to need a full brake system except for one brake disc and one caliper. One caliper zero. Yep. Three calipers, one brake disc, two vented, four pads, uh, no cylinders. That should be good enough. Reassemble! Caliper. Pop that sucker on there. All the tires are good enough. Over there, please. Oh, this is the Avalanche. This is the SUV. Awesome. Is Andrew still here? Or did he take off? 
Andrew, are you still here? Oil pan? Oh, he probably took off then. That's all good. Oh, hey, the rod caps. Those are useful. No items to work with? Oh, I sold the rod caps. I'm an idiot. Whoops. And and the oil pan. Teehee. Oil pan for a vehicle that I'm fixing. I don't know. Dang. I know, right? I can just sell everything. I'm done. Forgot to put the bottom half of the engine together, but that's all right. You didn't need that. It's the I-4 Bravo. I was all like, get this car out of here. It does not have an oil pan. What? No oil in the engine. Cannot start. Oh, duh. I forget, people want to, like, drive their cars off the lot somehow. Psh. Whatever. Fill it up with your own oil, dang. There's a couple of people who are new who weren't here a little while ago, so... Even though Andrew's not here, I'll show off some of the cool new stuff. Bolt Reptilia has engine problems. We're taking that. I'm oh, you're right. I forgot about that. Of course not. That just that doesn't sound like me at all. <laughs> me remember something? But yeah, for all you new folks who were here for the first time, we got some sweet cars I rebuilt. For those who like this game. -na -na. My personal car collection. Yeah, the green truck is... is my favorite is this purple one. Because... Because, damn. Look at that purple. But the green truck is probably my second, followed by this truck, because of its because it's matte black. I really like that. And then probably the chameleon blue. Yeah, he is. He's on top of stuff, man. All these cars. Yeah, dude. Purple is awesome. Purple's my favorite color. I love purple. I know you couldn't tell it by the, the little box around my webcam, but... Purple is my jam, dude. I don't think it's going to work out. Uh, we tried. Was your aunt's favorite color too? Well, your aunt sounds awesome. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I got to take off. I was like, what am I doing? Drive shaft. Remove it. Yeah, I gotta take off the drive shaft. I don't think I need to take out the uh, transmission, though. Because I want to say it fits the transmission on there as well. You personally like blue? Well, nobody can be perfect. I know. <laughs> Alright. Let's move this over to position one. Now, this thing we're going to... Install engine into the car, remove the engine from the car, 
Remove the engine, unmount, unmount the gearbox first. Okay. So yeah, the full transmission has to come off. Although I bet you the clutch and the flywheel can probably stay. Because that's, that's small enough. Let's get the starter off. And remove the transmission. Alright, so let's, let's see if the flywheel can stay. Okay, smart. I was hoping they coded it wrong and just being here was good enough. The car actually needs to be down. <laughs> Damn. Drain the oil, but... Oh, son of a bitch. I guess that makes sense. Well, I have that sweet little blue, uh, blue car over there, too. Looks like a Mercury Cougar. That was like an electric blue, too. No, I don't think I hate any color. Okay, so the engine is on the crane. Now, rotate, rotate, add an engine into crane. This one. Okay. Hey, look at that. It sits on the crane properly. That's why... Okay. So the crane mounts where the transmission mounts. That's why you can't have the transmission on the engine. Alright, so... Can I do tests on this while it's here? Oh, I can't. Oh, that sucks. You also can't look at the parts list from here. I have to go back to the car body to look at the parts list. Oh, that's a little annoying. Running gear faults. Running gear is the um, running gear is the suspension. Car feels loose. Fix body parts. Paint it with the factory color. So really, there's two parts on here that aren't good. And I see one of them right now. The ignition wires. And that spark plug. 17%. Ha ha! Got him! Didn't need the tester to tell me what it was. Ignition wires. Crap. There's so many different ones. Which, uh, uh, hold on. Let me put this new spark plug in, and then it'll allow me to see the ignition wires. V8. Okay. V8. New set of V8 wires. Alright, so now... That was kind of lackluster, wasn't it? Just two pieces on that? Alright, in that case, we'll have to find another engine that needs more work. How do I get... Take off engine from crane. Yes. Install engine into the car. Yes. That one. Move back where you came from. Okay, so that's done. Running gear, controlling, body parts, paint. Let's do the body. Oh, just trying the crane is all you really wanted to? It seems faster now that it's not quite as buggy. I still don't know if I would do it on a regular basis just because I feel like I can work around the engine just as fast while it's sitting inside the car body. I don't really see, uh, personally, I don't see a, a difference for me. I'll do it every now and then per, uh, her chat requests, but I'm not going to do it every time. Right tail and front window. Okay. Let's replace those body parts. This is a Bolt Reptilia. Alright, what are we looking at? We're looking at the hood. Front window. 
uh, front left door, front right door, rear bumper, and right tail light. There's a lot more on this vehicle that needs to get replaced. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this guy a solid. He doesn't care about this, but I'm going to weld the rest of his body. Whoops. Why aren't, why aren't you allowing me to... There we go. Utilize. Yes. Back where you came from. Okay. So... A good portion of the body just got fixed right there. Oh man, I don't know anything about cars. <laughs> if you want to know something about cars, you're barking up the wrong tree. Reptilia. Okay. This is the regular Reptilia. Reptilia rear bumper. Right tail light. Uh, front window. Reptilia front window. The hood. Front left door and front right door. That's difficult when the Reptilia and the Reptilia R2 are both in there. That starts to get confusing. Let's put the side mirrors back on. He didn't request new ones of those though, which is a little strange. Because they're in terrible disrepair. Alright. Body parts are done. Car does not start is done. Paint it the factory color. Move it to the paint shop. Factory. We go back to lifter A. Let me do that. So I'm going to erase my dry erase board. I'm hearing a lot of phone calls. Wait, money bonus. Take. Experience bonus. Take. All right, you go over to lifter two. You go to lifter three. All right. This one is just down to suspension. So let's put let's put the gearbox and stuff back in here. Yo, what's up, old man farmer? What's, how's it been going with you, man? <laughs> nice. I found it. No, see, I found a car earlier. I was thinking that as well, but I, f I got a car earlier that said factory color and it was brown. So I was all like, huh, weird. That's a rarity. I did put the drive shaft back in. Yeah, yeah, I put the drive shaft back in. All right, let's go to the test track with the Reptilia. No oil in the engine. Well, that just seems inconvenient. See, Cappy had the great the great idea that maybe this isn't actually supposed to be white. Maybe it's supposed to be primer gray. 
If that's the case, I, I think it, the default should be a little darker gray, but... There we go. Let's take this thing for a test drive, see if it'll tell me what's broken up underneath. No, that's all right, MWR. It's an interesting look out the front, though. wobbles a lot, doesn't it? Those are probably my tie rods. Doing a lot of wobbling. Whoa. Whoa, holy crap. Look at that helicopter. Why doesn't everybody eat tacos on the toilet? Whoa, overshot. Oh, this guy's brakes are rough. Oh my god. Wow. That's that's a lot of stuff. The engine was drowning me out. Sorry. I was also talking kind of quietly. Well, you were kind of just talking to me. Yeah, I was mainly talking to Cappy, but I said uh <laughs> I said, why doesn't everybody eat uh, tacos on the toilet? <laughs> from, uh, I don't know if you're American, but it comes from a cartoon called Bob's Burgers. Oh man, look at them brakes. Okay, front brakes are torn up. Rear brakes aren't so bad. There's probably some damage back there, but... Quicker trip. Yeah, he accidentally spills hot sauce on his, uh, on his downstairs. And then he realizes why people don't eat tacos on the toilet. Alright, yeah, this tests a lot of rubber bushings. That's good. Look, every single rubber bushing on this car. Oh, you don't watch Bob Bob's Burgers? It's good. If you enjoy funny cartoons, it's good. And it's not it's not one of the uh, like dirty nasty ones. It's just. That tastes like dirty nasty ones. I mean, we watch Bob's Burgers. Yeah, we watch Family Guy and uh, American Dad and Rick and Morty. And I'm like, those are, those are pretty much on the edgy, on the edgy side. Or at least Rick and Morty is. Oh, you're more into anime. Okay. Yep, anime is awesome. But I'm not into, like, I'm not really into very many of the big commercial animes. Yes. I said not very many. I didn't say not all of them. I love Attack on Titan, but like, anytime somebody's all like, oh, you like anime? You must have liked like Naruto or Dragon Ball Z, and I'm like, mm, no. None of that. Attack on Titan is awesome? Yes, sir. Yes, it is. But I'm really big into, like, uh, the Miyazaki films. Um, I think from what you said about Claymore, I think I would enjoy Claymore as well. I like Miyazaki films like uh, Princess Mononoke, Spirited Away, 
Um, Howl's Moving Castle. What was the one I really liked that I got you to watch and you really liked it? The, uh... Oh, God. It was the one with the robots and the sky... The, the, the airships. Maybe it's one you haven't you haven't seen yet. Castle in the Sky, that's it. For some reason, I couldn't put the name. Yeah, I liked Castle in the Sky a lot. I've not seen any Attack on Titan since Season 1. We need to... I have Season... Well, I have some of Season 2. But I don't have all of it. And I think that's the problem, is I want to get it all, because we're just... I know us, we're going to binge it. Waiting for the dub? Yes, I'm lazy. There are some episodes that are out in the dubbed version, and some that are not. And I just... I'm, I'm lazy. I also want to see the new Godzilla anime that was just announced. Or is it... That's just a movie, though. That's just an animated movie. But still, I want to see it. <laughs> Avatar, no. Not watched Avatar. Not watched uh, any of the Avatar spinoffs that I can't remember their names of right now. That everybody loved. I did watch Robotech in the 80s. But only the first season. I think that's everything. No. I can have you watch some of my animes, but not all of them. No. No, if it's if it's got anything to do with like usually if it's got anything to do with high school, I'm probably not interested. <laughs> Cuz I'm like, I don't want to watch drama. Vampire Night? That sounds like it's going to be awesome. You're right. terrible. <laughs> or at least not my style. You don't like Attack on Titan? That's alright, man. Not everybody's perfect. Alright, I think that's all the parts. Well, I know it's all the parts. I went to the parts list. Duh. Wait, how, what percentage on this vehicle does it need to be? 63%. It feels weird because now I actually have to go and check where I used to not have to check because I was always doing story missions and they were always 100%. Oh, yeah. And now I have to check. I'm like 63%. That anime seems like gore for gore's sake. Attack on Titan. Yeah, I don't know. I can kind of see where you're coming from, but I would disagree. It's very gory and it can be violent, but it's got yeah. such a great story and characters. Yeah, I think that's that's really the biggest deal there is it's like if you can get past the fact that it's gory and get to the actual like meat and potatoes of the story, the story is really good. Bottom suspension arm, front steering knuckle, Charlie. You got used to the updates almost every day, and now there hasn't been one. And yeah, I know, right? I I've I got used to looking and seeing all that, and then like the other like for the last four or five days, there hasn't been a single update. And I'm like, Wait, are they done? <laughs> no, they're not done. Crap, I forgot what I was buying. Matt's bedtime is in seven minutes. No! Uh, front steering knuckle Charlie. I'm going to finish this car. But yeah, I'm getting kind of tired myself. Okay, I need leaf stuff. I need four of these. And two plates. 
yeah, I'm I'm with Horde Sack. The developers are taking a much needed break. They were busting their asses, dude, bringing out sometimes two patches a day for like two weeks. Those dude were those dudes were busting their asses, and they did a great job. All right, need I need all the tie rods, front wheel hub, and sway bar B. Front wheel hub, front sway bar B, and all a full set of ties. What I like in an anime is a little hard to pin. I mean, I don't think Kimono Friends was that bad. I don't know anything about that. Wait, hence why you have a bedtime? I'm sorry? I didn't catch the first half of that. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. It was in response to what I had said, and I thought it was in response to what was written in chat. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, I wake up at I wake up at six a.m. every morning, so going to bed at ten p.m. is not that big of a deal. Yeah, I don't. I really don't go to sleep at ten. I I lay down and watch a little TV and decompress. I need bushings. Hello. All right, I need two, four, six, eight, ten rubber bushings and two wheel hub bearings. Two wheel hub bearings and ten rubber bushings. All right, so let's pop these suckers back in here. Is the uh, sorry, is the upper arm okay? No, the upper arm is trashed. Put the knuckle back on. Outer tie rod. Lower suspension arm, or bottom, actually. There's a difference. Alright, two upper suspension arms. Front axle knuckle covers are good. And these are front sway bar Bs. So upper suspension arm and front sway bar B. Two of those. Upper suspension arm, two of those. I'm going to need shocks, aren't I? A whole full set. Front spring and cap and a double wishbone. Hey, more followers. Thanks. Double wishbone shock absorber. Two of those. Front shock stuff. Two springs and two caps. Front wheel hub. Uh, one of those is good. Wheel hub bearing, hub cap, those are okay. I need a front wheel hub. I could do that upper suspension arm, I just bought that. Front wheel hub, is, if I spell it right, will show me what I want. Pop that sucker on there. Let me get the bearing installed, and then the cap. Okay, that can be installed. And then we'll go assemble my shocks. Uh, yeah, this way. Put that together. I'm really close to level 40, too. 40 as well. Sorry. Let me say it like that. So we can pop these shocks on there. That's 
good. Let's select that one, slot that in there. Are the brakes okay? Yeah, the brakes were okay. Wow, alright. I thought the brakes were bad. I guess not. Alright. And the tires are okay. Cool. Grammar. Yeah. Forget grammar, man. That's useless. That tire gets attached. Now let's go to the rear. We gotta put that plate in with two new U-bolts. This guy's suspension's gonna work a lot better once I'm done with it. Leaf spring, U-bolts again. Brake discs, the pads, the calipers. Slap that wheel on there. We are almost done with this car, folks. Zoom over there. It wasn't playing nice. Car does not start, running gear problems, control is loose, body parts, painted the factory color, you are done for 20 grand. Hey, level 40, look at that. Save. Let's go level up, shall we? Alright, I get a store discount and cheaper trips to the junkyard and barns. At 45, I get instant examination of 20 parts, and at 50... I get good to be lucky. Which, somebody said something that was awesome about that, and I forgot what it was. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, level 40, folks, that's awesome. Money. This must be experience. Yes, experience bonus. Cars loud. Gearbox, gearbox. Cool. Alright, so we'll do this one next time. But that's going to be it for me for today. So thank you guys for coming. Um, for those who have showed up recently, if uh, you want to join the community Discord, exclamation point Discord in the chat, we'll get you a link directly there. Uh, I'm also an affiliate, uh, but you don't have to be subscribed on Twitch to get into the Discord. You can subscribe if you want to, but it's all good. So thank you guys for coming and hanging out, and we will see you all next time.